Well, hello everybody. Thanks for joining me. It's Saturday afternoon. It's the 30th of January. It's quarter past three in the afternoon. Um, I've been working today. I've just got home from work and uh, very excited to find this package that's arrived for me today. Um, somebody opened the bag while I was at work. Anyway, they realised it was for me so they didn't get anything out. And it's been a real test for me not to open this until I do it for you. So here we go. This is it. The Convoy SG Firesteel Kit. Made in Britain. They're a British company. It comes in a very impressive box, I must say. Look at that, that's cool. Iron Age, Viking Age and Modern Age. Very cool. So let me see what's in here. How do you open it? Ah. Wow. Tips for an unboxing. <laughs> Film or take a photograph. Share it and enjoy. <laughs> well, they'd have known it. So what does it come with? There's a card. Well, it comes wrapped in this beautiful paper. Look at this. Oh, wow. Wow, that's um, beautiful leather. It feels like it's been oiled or waxed. Definitely been waxed, it's got stuff, some oil on it or something. I can smell the leather from here. You see, it's got the logo on it. Okay, so let's have a look what's in this really, really nice pouch. Exciting. Wow, look at this. Nice little tin. Even this is covered in oil. Some char cloth. Fantastic. Maybe I can make my own in this tin. I like the fact that it's got the logo on it as well. Oh, look at that. Lovely piece of flint. Look at that. I love flint. Oh, yeah. Look at that. What a fantastic... Striker. It's got the logo on it and everything. Look at that, it's beautiful. Fantastic size. Really nice. Really, really nice. What else is in here? Ah! A bag. With the logo on too. Even this has got some stains from the oil look. You can, if you're really desperate, almost, I suppose you could put some tinder or something in here, but if you're really desperate, you can, um, they say you can cut this up and use it as uh, uh, as tinder. And um, look how oily my hands are. That's how conditioned everything comes, protected in oil. That's beautiful. 
So I think this is a fantastic kit. I can't wait to use it. Uh, this cost me around about £32, I think. And for the quality of leather and the quality of the workmanship of the steel and everything else you get, the fact that it comes so fantastically um, packaged and the fact that it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a British company, uh, a small company too, I think that's really good. So, I'm going to have a go with this in the garden. I've never used one before. So uh, come and join me in the garden and see if I uh, succeed in lighting a fire. How exciting! Oh, brilliant. See you soon. Well, hi guys. Uh, we're now out in the garden. Um, part of the course I'm doing at the moment is, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, is I have to, uh, part of the fire module, You um, there's quite a lot of um, various ways of fire lighting. One of them is with the flint and the steel. Um, and ferro rod and all different uh, uh, methods. I've never ever ever used a flint and steel before and I'm really excited about it. Uh, I feel like a kid at Christmas. Um, I don't know whether it will be a success or not. Um, so I'm going to uh, prepare some stuff, prepare me kindling, prepare me bird's nest and um, I'll get back to you. So there you have it, the first time I've ever lit a fire with a flint and steel. 
and there's something really 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 satisfying about it I just absolutely loved it uh, I think it'd be a bit addictive I think I'm uh, gonna want to do it again to prove it's not a fluke uh, but the fire's still burning it's only a small fire just to practice really so yeah I'm really pleased uh, I can't believe how easy it was actually I thought I was uh, gonna struggle um, just to prove the fire is still going I made the bird's nest out of a ripped up one of these uh, string hessony type bags um, I've always in in that bag I ha have a little tinder kit which I've got some uh, cotton wool and a lighter and some Vaseline I've put some ripped up cotton wool in there I've also ripped up some strips of, uh, strips of birch bark um, but the main uh, uh, body of it was a dead dry fern which I managed to pick up just outside the front of the house earlier uh, yesterday um, so yeah I've really enjoyed that that was brilliant so I wanted to share it with you just to show you how difficult or hard it was because I've never done it before so um, I can thoroughly recommend this it's just brilliant it just catches the sparks beautifully um, I think I need a little bit more practice just to make sure that wasn't a fluke um, so thanks for joining me and I hope you enjoyed that Guys, just one more thing. Um, I remember the first time I, I lit a fire using a ferro rod and some uh, scratched up birch bark and stuff, of, you know, a couple of years back and been really, really chuffed with that. But there was something about doing it this way which connects you to the past. It's a method that has been used for thousands and thousands of years, um, exactly the, the way our ancestors would have done it. Um, and there's something particularly satisfying about that the connection I think um, and I'm really excited I know loads of you out there will have done this a million times but yeah I'm really pleased so uh, I'm gonna go and celebrate so thanks for watching once again thanks for subscribing uh, thanks for all the um, um, uh, people who have sent messages asking how I was after the vaccine and stuff uh, your appreciation and support is very much appreciated um, so uh, just a short video today. Hope you're all safe and take care. This is brilliant. Bye